In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this fantastic tasting set, 20 whiskies that changed the world from the Whiskey Exchange. Welcome back to the channel everyone and in today's video again it's another sort of slight departure from what we've been doing in the past we're talking about a whiskey tasting set which I don't think is necessarily an investment but is a really solid uh, addition to your collection and especially if you like drinking whiskies, this is a really good uh, set for you to buy now it's been released by the whiskey exchange and I must state that this is not a sponsored post we've bought this set ourselves because we think it's fantastic and I think why not share it with you because I, I think when you delve a bit beneath the surface this is a really interesting proposition so so what is it then so it's called 20 whiskies that changed the world and it's been released by the whiskey exchange the whiskey exchange being arguably the world famous whiskey uh, store down in london set up in 1999 and still going strong today if you look at the literature this is to celebrate the whiskey exchange's 20th anniversary 1999 plus 20 is 2019 but i'm sure there's a covid brexit excuse somewhere waiting in the arches to say why it's only being released this year and so here it is then it's fantastically presented i mean and that's the first thing that you notice with this it really is a well presented set and i believe it's been designed by the same whiskey exchange designer who designed all the bottles for the karazawa geisha series so it really is a beautiful piece of presentation a little magnetic clasp on the side you get your book that comes out there 15 drums there and then inside here you get five further drums and two tasting glasses so I think before we start looking at anything else, we've got to look at the cost of it because it's a box of whiskey that contains 30 drums and it's 160 pounds. So yeah, it is, it is a relatively big investment, especially if you're gonna drink it. And I just kind of think that's a misguided way of looking at it. Cause yes, the purchase price of 160 pounds is quite expensive if you're looking at minis, but what does it represent? You're getting nearly 2,000 pounds worth of whiskey in here. You're getting 20 different legendary bottlings. It will cost you, if you go to the whiskey exchange or any retailer, in the region of about 2,000 pounds to buy. And me personally, my, the way that I like drinking whiskey, I like drinking whiskey from lots of different bottles rather than having a full bottle and, you know, <laughs> enjoying that till the death. I would rather build up my palate that way by trying lots of different whiskies than just going for big full versions. So much so that I started a company called Cheaper by the Dram a couple of years ago and we were bottling all these lovely rare bottles of whiskey that you can see up on the shelves. So these are all from my heyday having a play with a whiskey sample business. So I am quite biased in terms of I do like whiskey sample kits. So let's take a look at the kit itself then. So as we've seen, lovely magnetic clasp and inside here, the first thing that you get to is your book. And this is like a companion book, beautifully uh, illustrated on the front and inside it you get a description a very lengthy description of each bottle why it's in the set and you also get sort of some quite interesting sections to sort of put your tasting notes in as well so by the time you've completed all of this it will be sort of a nice interesting record of your tasting journey now the whiskies inside they've been split up into four different sections uh, and you get so there, there's there's four themes there's five which is about whiskey revolution there are five about the magic of the cask five about pete makes the world go around and five from the new world and they're the ones in there all of the bottles come in these little 30 mil glass bottles all with the perfect measure branding on there and they're all sort of uh, got a plastic seal on top as well now if you're thinking about trying to do something like this yourself be careful because the Scotch Whiskey Association are watching and all of these rebottlings have to be done in Scotland in a licensed warehouse. So you can't just take a bottle of whiskey and decant it into different drums in your bedroom. It has to be done in Scotland and it has to be done by licensed people to do so. And that's what adds a lot of the cost of these things as I found out was cheaper by the dram. So the first set of drams here, let's sort of take a look at them in, 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 in this first set. So these are the ones about the whiskey revolution. So these are whiskies that really changed the world because of their approach. So you've got uh, Compass Box Hedonism, uh, you've got the Monkey Shoulder Batch 27, you've got the Klein Leash 14 year old, sorry, Klein Elish 14 year old, you've got the Glen Fiddick 15 year old Solera. And my standout dram is this, it's the Johnny Walker Blue Label. Now, 
It's interesting to me because it's a jam that I've always wanted to try. A full-size bottle of Johnny Walker Blue costs you about in the region of £200. And when you read why this has gone into the set, it's partly because it is a whiskey that nobody ever gets to try. People like talking about Johnny Walker Blue. And when you look at the Johnny Walker literature, only one in 10,000 casks is good enough to make the cut for Johnny Walker Blue. Johnny Walker, what, near two, nearly 200 years old now? It's, it's a fantastic blended whiskey and I like blended whiskies. One of the best blended whiskies that I've ever had out of interest is this White Horse from the 1960s. That's an absolutely sensational bottle. Bottled uh, in 1958, that one. So 1950s bottling. But people say that single malts are like listening to a violin and blended malts or blended whiskies are like listening to the orchestra. And I would agree to that to a certain extent. Some blends are fantastic and they kind of get a bit of a bad stigma for whatever reason. But I'm really excited to try this Johnny Walker Blue. Now, the next set of bottles here is the magic of the cask. Now, or cask if you're a fancy viewer. Now, a lot, if you read a lot of books, you'll find or different quotes to sort of say that the cask or cask has about 60 to 90 percent, well, the cask adds about 60 to 90 percent of the profile of the whiskey. They allude to this fact in the book here, but they don't give a specific figure, but it's the wood that is arguably more important than the distillate. You know, you can put fantastic distillate into poor wood and it won't make nice whiskey. You can put poor whiskey or poor distillate into very good quality wood and end up with a good quality whiskey. Now, in here, you've got the Balvenny uh, 12 year old, the Macallan 18 year old, that's a 2019 bottling, the Glendronic 15 year old revival, don't mention chill filtration, uh, oops, uh, the Dalmore King Alexander III and Glenfarclas 105. Now, I'm excited about all of these. I like sherried whiskies, but the one, again, my standout here would be the Macallan 18. It's a 2019 bottling. And the Macallan 18 year old, it really is the, the pinnacle of 18 year old whiskies, in my opinion. The, the series started, I think it was in 1984, was the first official 18 year, year old release from the distillery. And this one, the 2019 one, it came around a year after the new rebrand that the Macallan went through with their 18 year olds. And you know, these modern bottlings, these modern bottlings only have an annual age release to say that it was released in uh, 2018. The earlier releases have a vintage year and a, a, a release year, but that is a 300 pound bottle of whiskey that you're getting to try here. And I'm fascinated, I can't wait to give that a try. Next one, we get to Pete Makes the World Go Around. So we've got some Pete Monsters in here. The obvious one being the Octo, uh, Octomore, the Octomore there. Uh, you've got the Lagavulin 16, the Lefroy Quarter Cask, the Springbank 10 year old and the Talisker 18 year old. Now, for me, this is the standout, the Lagavulin 16 year old. It's a fantastic whiskey. It was first released in 1988 as part of the Classic Malts of Scotland range. Now that was released uh, by the company who took over, or which is now called Diageo, and it was a way to market and promote single malt whiskey to the wider public. And the Lagavulin 16, the first one, again, we've got an empty bottle of it here. And this is the first release that came out of, from that classic malts of Scotland. And if you go to a bar now and you see, uh, you might remember you used to get to see a stand of whiskies behind the bar in a little tray with a little wire gallery around it. And you had Talisker, Lagavulin, and Oban and things like that, Glen Kinchy, and it was a way to introduce people to it. Now, what I'm interested about tasting this 16 year old, which is the modern 16 year old, we've still got some drams of this Lagavulin 16 from the 1980s from Cheaper by the Dram. So I'm gonna do like a side by side comparison and see how that's changed over the years. And that's the thing that samples really give you the, the option to do that full size bottles don't really. So let's just put that back there. And then finally, we get to the World Whiskies, which are all tucked away in this drawer. So let's get rid of the box in this drawer and we've got five great whiskies here we've got Nika Kofi you've got the Yamazaki 12 year old the Amrit Fusion which is the Indian whiskey of course Blanton's is a single cask of bourbon there and then you've got the Mitch's Rye I mean they're all really exciting whiskies for me to try but again for me the standout is going to be the Yamazaki 12 and if you've watched our previous video 
we talk about the 1980s Yamazaki 12 year old and how that is probably one of the most undervalued whiskies on the market potentially when you look at the cost of current Yamazaki 12 year old and you look at the cost of other Yamazaki bottlings this 1980s uh, so this, this this modern bottling is going to be something fantastic to try alongside the old bottling that we've got now if you want to look at tasting notes or view tasting notes on that uh, Yamazaki 12 year old from the 1980s from our previous video Phil at Whiskey Wednesdays had it Etienne at the, uh, the Malt Cask on Instagram's had it and uh, Vin at No Nonsense Whiskey has currently just received it hopefully and then after Vin at No Nonsense Whiskey it's going to go on to Jeff's Whiskey so we like opening bottles of whiskey we like drinking bottles of whiskey but on our channel yes we are talking about the collecting side of things now let me just put all of this back together there we go and a few people have sort of postulated online that maybe these are going to be a good investment and something to keep for the future and I, and I don't think that's wrong I think this is a classic kit but I feel that the whiskey exchange you've got a wider commercial uh, element in this this box has cost a lot to produce all the bo the books and the foam fillings have all have to be produced individually or you know to order so this filling this insert has been cut specifically for this box I think this is just going to be an ongoing series of releases. So maybe when this current lineup of bottles is gone, they will change the publication inside and they'll change a few of the drams around. And I don't think there's going to be any specific things that make it more appealing or less appealing to collectors, investors. But you know what? Buy two, drink one, leave one and see what happens to it. Some of the some of the drams that they were the perfect measure in the Whiskey Exchange of release in the past have gone up in value, especially the McAllen's, but this really is a fantastic opportunity to taste some incredible whiskey. So there we have it. It's the Whiskey Exchange's 20 whiskies that changed the world. It's 160 pounds. It's not cheap, but it's eight pounds a dram and you're getting some really high quality whiskey in here. Again, as we've said, it's about £2,000 to buy all the bottles that go into making this kit. So yes, it's expensive, but it uh, uh, represents a good opportunity. See it as an investment in yourself and in your palate and in your whiskey drinking career, rather than just a financial investment as you may see other bottles. Now, we've got lots of new content coming on this channel being released each week. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And also keep an eye on the Mark Little blog where we publish weekly blog updates about what's happening in the market. Market, what's happening in auctions new releases and things and if you've got any whiskey that you would like a valuation on and you're wondering about the best way to sell that whiskey or you're looking to buy whiskey or start investing in a collection please get in touch and we'll be happy to help